Good, whatever time it might be for all you lovely people out there. My name is Eggnog, your everyday Lego Star Wars enthusiast. And I think we can all agree that there are a lot of very good Lego sets out there. But, not every Lego set can be a winner. And some of them fall to the wayside. Uh, may they be lame, forgettable, or just downright not good. Today, I think it would be fun to take a look at some of these less cool sets and I've picked out 10 sets that I consider completely unremarkable and completely forgettable. So let's take a look at those. Before we hop in I just want to state that this list is in no particular order. I think it's kind of silly to call something the number one most forgotten Lego set because if it's the number one most forgotten it's obviously not the most forgettable. So this is in no particular order. Let's get this list started. The first set on this list is coming from the very first year of Lego Star Wars. That's right, 1999. Now a lot of the 1999 sets were, weren't very good, but I think they all have kind of their retro charm. But this set here is just totally boring. And that is set 7128 Speeder Bikes. This set uh, comes with two Imperial Speeder Brikes, two Scout Troopers, Luke Skywalker, and this little tree build. Nothing about this set is crazy cool. I mean, the, this, the, the Scout Troopers are very nice figures, but they came in a lot of sets past that. And the Luke Skywalker minifigure has got the uh, yellow head, which makes him not quite as accurate and not quite as desirable. This set is simple, basic, boring, and very forgettable. The next set on this list, Lego set 7201, uh, Final Battle 2, came out in 2002 with a whopping 14 pieces. No wonder this set is forgettable. The set comes with yellow tone Luke Skywalker, a yellow tone Imperial officer, and one stormtrooper. That's not Luke's final duel. You're telling me Luke fought off against an Imperial officer and a stormtrooper, and that was the climactic ending of Star Wars? What a joke name. Also, I mean, this set is just a tiny build, nothing special about the characters, nothing cool, just completely and utterly forgettable. Now, the next set on this list is one that's forgettable because of a set that came after it. I'm talking about LEGO set 7666, the Hoth Rebel Base. This set came with the figures Dak Ralter, Luke Skywalker in his pilot uniform. They came with two snow troopers, and two rebel troopers. The build was pretty much just the Hoth main gate, a small little turret, and a snow speeder. Now you might be asking why this set is forgettable. Well, it's because this set was made, this set was made obsolete in the year 2016 when LEGO set 75028, I think that's right, 028 came out. That is of course being the UCS Hoth rebel base. This set did everything that the old Hoth Rebel base did, but 10 times better, and pretty much just marked the old one into a realm of obscurity. And just, it's just a boring and forgettable set. What is there to say? The next set on this list is LEGO set 7596, Ewok Attack. This basically was a tree build, a little speeder bike, and of course it came with a uh, Scout Trooper, the older model, not the newer one, and two Ewoks being Logre and Tokat. This set was cool, and it has some cool Ewoks, but again, it is made forgettable and completely overshadowed. Oh, the Ewok attack was released in 2011. Two years later in 2013, the Master Builders series Ewok Village uh, entered the scene and just marked this into complete obscurity just making it another lame, forgettable set. Set on our list is 75024, the HH87 Starhopper. This set is an interesting one because it comes with some pretty cool figures. It comes with a Nikito Guard, Cad Bane, and Reiko Hardeen. The build itself is an incredibly weird, forgettable ship that was in like one episode of The Clone Wars, and that's it. Since this set has a Cad Bane figure and Reiko Hardeen, who's like Obi-Wan in disguise, why is it so forgettable? Well, it's because the Cad Bane figure is not very cool looking compared to all the other ones out there. I mean, he's lacking his iconic little uh, breather things, and Reiko Hardeen is cool, but he's not that cool. And it, I think it would have been cooler if he had like his helmet and stuff, but it's just kind of a weird, out there, forgettable set. 
Which is weird, because it was a very cool arc of the Clone Wars. The box has got to be one of my favorite episodes. Next set on this list is 75051, the Jedi Scout Fighter. This is kind of cheating. Nobody knows what Yoda Chronicles is. Nobody knows what the, the Jedi Scout Fighter is. Lame set. The only cool figure is Jack 14. Other than that, it's like a, a weird Jedi and two droids. Just a nothing ship. I always think that when Lego makes ships, uh, they just don't look very good. And there's a lot of examples of these super forgettable ships. So I guess you could kind of count this one as just all of the Yoda Chronicles, uh, Freemaker Adventures ships all bundled in one. All those weird forgettable Lego creations. But uh, they're just all lame forgettable you know they're not from the movies or anything so you know who who really wants these i know i sure don't this next set set number 75084 is from star wars rebels it came out in 2015 this is the wookie gunship it came with kane and jarris two regular wookies and a wookie chief whose name is something weird it's like it's like wolfer wolfer fran or something really silly like that but this set is just kind of a wannabe clone gunship, you know? It's got a kind of a cool coloring. It's a cool set, don't get me wrong, but it's from a very, like, I don't even remember where it was in Rebels, you know? It's a very forgettable ship. Uh, just not very interesting. The figures are kind of cool, but not cool enough to make this set memorable in any sort of way. Kane and Jarrus was in the Ghost set, which is 100% more recognizable than this thing. So that's why it's on this list. 2016 gave us the initial line of Force Awakens sets, and they were very underwhelming. The only one, personally, I thought was super cool was the First Order Star Destroyer. But I think at the very bottom of all these, we have the attack on Taco Donna. Just a super boring, forgettable set. It comes, of course, with Maz Kanata, uh, FN-2187, or Finn. It comes with two First Order Stormtroopers. One of them has the baton. He's the guy that goes... Traitor! And then it comes with Kylo Ren without a helmet. Pretty okay figures. Maz is exclusive to the set, but the build is just so abhorrently bland and uncool and uninteresting that it just immediately turns me off to this set. And it's just such a forgettable, lame set in my eyes. And I could say that with a lot of the original Force Awakens sets, but this one definitely the worst. The next set is set number 71577. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's the infamous concept art set, the First Order Heavy Walker. This set came with the Resistance Trooper, General Hux, which is a cool figure. Comes with a First Order Flame Trooper and like a First Order Crew Officer. This set would have been cool if it was in the movie, but it wasn't in the movie. Which made just a lot of people question, like, what is this set? What is this thing? And, uh, you know, over the years, it's just not interesting. People want sets from the movies. That's what adds to the appeal. And when your set's not in the movie, why should I buy it? I'm just going to forget it, you know? So, yeah, First Order, I'm sorry, all you First Order heavy scout walkers out there, but uh, it's a forgettable set. And last on our list, I have one set that I completely forgot existed. Until I was like doing some of the looking into Bricklink for this video. And that set is of course the incredibly forgettable 501st Battle Pack. Just kidding everybody. I'm actually talking about Lego set 75203, the Hoth Medical Chamber. Set comes with Princess Leia, a medical droid, and like a, a, a damaged Luke Skywalker in his little underwear that he wears in the back to tank. I totally forgot this set existed. When I was browsing through Bricklink and I saw it, I was like, what is this? I don't think I ever saw it on store shelves. I mean, this is such a weird set that nobody asked for. It's basically just a back to tank, a bed, and like a bunch of weird little builds. I mean, just so incredibly forgettable that even I forgot it. And I'm your everyday LEGO Star Wars enthusiast. Well, that's that, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and it means a lot to me that you watched it. I'd like to know in the comments below what are some sets that you would add to this list. Some very forgettable, boring sets that you just can't remember for the life of you. And uh, until then, I mean, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video review or, you know, whatever I decide to do that or whatever I decide to do next. But until then, please stay safe.